Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 13th of September through to Sunday the 19th of September 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Aquarius let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. Aquarius, during the pre-shuffle and meditation for your reading, your channeled message um, came through uh, around you being disappointed um, about somebody, somebody that um, you see as quite stable, quite grounded, quite balanced. Um, uh, it's like they're being, um, thank you, the first, look at that, First card out, freedom is yours, horse spirit. It's as though uh, the channeled message that I got that you're disappointed over somebody that is quite solid, quite balanced, um, somebody that you see as long-term commitment. Uh, they're being a little bit like um, neglectful or lazy or, um, yeah, they're just being a little bit, neglectful or, or, or lazy in the relationship, uh, whoever you're connecting with. Um, and it's something that you want to sort out. It's something that you want to come in and sort out, but you're just watching the situation at the moment. So let's see how, um, let's uh, get some more crowning message cards. But that was your channeled message that came through Aquarius. So my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How? Thank you. Thank you. So they've given me the two cards already. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got horse spirit. Freedom is yours. And we've got bring a gentle touch. What did I say? Your channeled message. You want to you want to talk about something. And we've got Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Okay, so for those of you that I am reading for, in fact, let me take um let me pull your crowning wisdom message first before I go into your reading. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question, how does the soulmate, thank you. Wow. Okay, so Aquarius, you've got a uh, lion, higher calling, Okay, uh, I feel that you are connected uh, with your divine counterpart, but why I chuckle there, it almost feels as if like this is your energy, this lioness, um, those that I'm reading for, it almost feels as if you're like, you just don't know what to do. It's like you're kind of looking away thinking, I don't know what to do. There must be like, there must be a purpose, there must be a reason. It says here, you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make notable, make noble choices, choices for your life and your tribe. So it's like you're contemplating, it's like you're turning your it's like you're you're with this person it's whoever you're connecting with your channeled message was pretty spot on this is somebody that is i would say that you see as your divine counterpart somebody that is stable somebody that is um grounded somebody that is solid okay somebody that may have uh, stood by um your side through thick and thin but for, for whatever reason, this week, it feels as though you're really, really disappointed in them around something. Um, are they not paying attention, being a little bit, I almost feel like a bit complacent in the relationship, perhaps taking you for granted. And you're being guided to know that you have a higher calling. Uh, for many of you, you either have, you're either being guided to know that you've got the courage to stick it out or to uh, walk away and let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. It's almost like the wisdom that's coming in here is almost as if, how can I put this? 
you know when they say um when you're with somebody for a long period of time even though something isn't quite right or something is out of whack you stay in a situation more out of obligation because it's all you know it's because this person has been by your side through thick and thin it feels like you're being guided to know that you have a higher calling let's have a look at your crowning message you've got horse spirit freedom is yours and i'll be honest with you it does feel as if this higher calling may require you to take a different path and with horse spirit coming in um only you can free yourself be truly free and the horse spirit is coming in to let you know that your spirit team is around you to help you carry the, a burden carry a load carry parting from this person or carry help you i feel like emotional burden and it feels as if it's your tribe it's your tribe around you because it says here with this wisdom message card um make noble choices for your life and your tribe some of you may have a family or, or like children so it's not just you to consider you may have have children with this person but they are stable for some of you you may actually be dealing with the leo or you could have leo in your chart but it feels as if there's some there's a higher calling for you and um your spirit team are coming in very clearly to let you know that the choice is yours you have the choice to free yourself from from um a situation that you may be just staying with because this person has stood by your side it's stable with the dear spirit dear spirit it says bring a gentle touch your channeled message clearly said that you wanted to clear something up okay you want to talk about something you want to clear something up with this person and it may be to address the fact either they're taking you for granted or they've become a little bit complacent and actually you're quite disappointed about that you're being guided to approach the situation with gentleness because this person may not realize that they have become a little bit complacent um that they've perhaps become a little bit lazy um a bit neglect neglectful in the connection for some of you you may need this person right now and it almost feels as if that's why you're really disappointed and you kind of look in a way but you're still with them you're still connected um because that that is what you know it's stable it's safe you're also being guided i feel to know that the freedom is yours once you have cleared something up spoken some sort of truth which is perhaps your higher calling but you're being guided to be gentle it's not a it's not a time to it's do you know what it feels like uh aquarius it's almost like it's not a time to be right or to be wrong because um the situation you, you're in is 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 a little bit of a mystery and I feel that divine spirit universe is coming in to say the mystery of the situation is the mystery. There are some things that you're just not meant to know. Some things that you're not meant to understand at this time. But right here, right now, um, I feel that you're being guided to make noble choices for yourself and for those of you that have uh, a family or children um for your tribe for your family okay um the freedom is yours 
to make the choices. Do you stay because uh, you feel obligated? It feels safe. It feels secure. Or do you uh, listen to a higher calling and really see what's in front of you, even though you don't understand it because it's quite mysterious to you? Whatever the situation is, whoever you're connecting with, you are definitely disappointed. You're disappointed and I feel like you don't quite know what to do. And your spirit team is letting you know that um, as long as you make choices, I almost feel like that is authentic and uh, serves your higher calling, your higher purpose. Uh, you can't really go too wrong, but you might have to be a little bit honest with yourself, Aquarius. Um, and there are just some things that you just, you just don't know and you may never know. And one of those things is perhaps even though uh, this person is quite stable and it feels quite safe, um, if you make the choice to uh, part from this person, uh, it's like there's no rhyme or reason or because it's just mysterious. It's just that intuition that your spirit team is saying that the freedom is yours, but the freedom is also yours to stay. But whatever way, know that you've got the courage. You may have to let go of the past and take back your power. So if you have felt that this person is be, being quite um, lazy or neglectful or taking you for granted, then I almost feel as if the choices that you've got to make, the questions that you've got to ask, uh, the gentleness that you need to bring may be to you because you've allowed that to happen. Again, no mystery. There is, um, there's no rhyme or reason. There, it's just mysterious. And you may never really understand that. But what you can do is make a choice to take back your power. Because if you have enabled that behaviour of not, of not correcting somebody of how they've treated you or how they may have neglected or taken, um, taken the relationship for granted, that's what you can clear up now with that dear spirit. But be gentle, not only with this person, but to yourself because you've enabled it. Um, interesting message. Definitely resonates with your channeled message that I received. But let's... Um, Let's see, let's get into some more detail. So Aquarius, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, it really does help to push the video out to other Aquariuses. Um, and if you do choose to subscribe, it also enables you to get notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Aquarius, it does support the channel. So um, thank you in advance. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's truly, truly appreciated. Um, and I hope that you get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 13th of September through to Sunday the 19th of September 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Aquarius, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle, if they do come out, um, 
in this reading, I will call them out for you. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you and thank you. So this card fell out first. Ten of water. So this person uh, sees you as their absolute happiness. And that's why what whatever is going on with the two of you, even though you feel really disappointed, you're being guided to be gentle. Because this person sees you as their absolute happiness. With the ace of earth, I feel that um, they are solid. They are grounded. Um, I feel that when you do speak to this person, because you will, I feel that your your um, channeled message clearly uh, said that you're going to clear something up with this person. They're going to want a new beginning. I feel It feels like they're going to level up. With the Ace of Fire, this is them taking action to level up, to perhaps reassure you that you are their happiness. And it's like I said, it's like this person may not even uh, realise that they've neglected the connection or they have become a little bit complacent or lazy, taking you for granted. With the Ace of Fire here, they are going to take action to level up, I feel, let you know that you are their happiness. But the action that you're going to take as the Ace of Fire is right in the centre of your reading is the action that you're going to take, I feel, is to speak something, to, to let this person know how you feel, okay? I would also say with the Ace of Fire, um, there is a lot of passion between the two of you. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, yeah, a lot of passion. Yeah. Let's continue. But this person definitely wants to come in with a solid offer, a new beginning. It almost feels as if this person doesn't even realise that um, you're feeling the way that you're feeling, Aquarius, which is disappointed. Wow. Okay. Wow. Look at that. The Empress. That's your energy, whether you're a male or female. How intriguing. Um, the same uh, lions coming up. I feel that this person sees you um, as somebody. Sorry, that's not even the empress. That's the emperor. I was like about to say because that image looks like this image here, which I feel is your divine counterpart. So whether um, your person is male or female, I feel as if um, you, you see this person as very much somebody stable, somebody that is um, a leader. You could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. This person is stable. I feel that this is somebody that you do think the world of. It's interesting because in a strange way, I'm picking up an empress energy as well. But it is the emperor. I feel that you want to take control of the situation. Do you know something, Aquarius, whether you are male or female, it almost feels as if you are taking on a more masculine energy. It's like you're, that's why I'm getting a bit confused because when I first saw it, I saw it as the Empress through my like, that's what I was seeing. And, and then I thought, hold on a minute. But the image looks like <clears throat> this image here, which I clearly saw as the person that you're disappointed in. But I'm still picking up the Empress energy. So I would say um, Aquarius is. I feel as if this action, this ace of fire, it feels as if you're kind of standing up for yourself. 
It's like your divine masculine energy within you, whether you are male or female, is rising up to speak some sort of truth. To be authentic, you're coming in to clear something up. Have a discussion. It's like you want to take control of this disappointment that you're feeling. Wow. That really stumped me for a minute, but it kind of makes sense. It's like, especially, do you know something, Aquarius, especially if you are a woman, it's like you're putting aside your divine divine feminine energy and stepping into your logical rational um divine masculine energy and that's what's coming forward it's like you you need to take control of this and that's the action that you're taking but you're being guided um to be gentle with the situation and look at that the king of ear how interesting I actually feel that both of those energies, the Emperor and the King of Ear, is actually your energy, Aquarius. Whether you are male or female, you're taking control to speak your truth. And I said that with that sword there. That is the action that you are taking. Whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. Your divine masculine energy within you, Aquarius, is kicking in full throttle. It's almost as if um, what you may have not seen before, you're seeing a higher calling. It's almost like actually, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to feel neglected. I don't want to feel that the person that is right by my side is kind of there but vacant, kind of not there. You don't want to feel like you're being taken for granted. You don't want to feel like you're staying with somebody because it's safe, it's secure, it's out of obligation. It's like you want the real deal. You want a new beginning. And that's why I feel that you're going to speak your truth, taking control. For many of you, um, your thinking at this time with whoever you're connecting with is a total mystery and I feel that divine spirit universe is saying it's okay there are some things you're not supposed to know but the freedom is yours the freedom is yours to change the situation walk away from the situation stay in the situation speak your truth whatever whatever it is know that you have within you all the courage you need and that's the key thing let's clarify thank you We've got the Ten of Pentacles. So look at that. Ten and ten. This is completion. Big time. Whatever it is you're going to say to this person this week, uh, they're going to let you know without a shadow of a doubt that they have nothing but love and happiness for you. And they do want to build a future with you. I feel as you rise up and you take control and you speak your truth, it feels as if this person is like going to level up, take action to come in more solid, um, more grounded, more alert to your needs. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? How does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Wow, thank you. And we've got, wow, the lover's card. Did I not say that this is divine counterpart, the lover's card? Uh, you and this person are twin flames, ultimate soulmates. This is how this person sees you. Could be dealing with the Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. Look at that. There's the ten of wands. Whatever you're going to say to this person, it is going to really burden them. And I said that it's almost as if they don't even realise this is how you're feeling. And when you do speak to them, it's going to be a real burden. They're going to level up. They're going to want to uh, have a new beginning, reassure you that um, they've got nothing but love for you. They want to build a future with you. They see you as uh, their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. 
King of Pentacles coming in with a solid offer. With the bull there, you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus in, in your chart. Uh, but this person um, is long-term commitment. Um, somebody that is stable, long-term commitment, grounded, um, relatively wise, apart from you being disappointed with them and perhaps them just kind of becoming a little bit complacent. But this person is the, is, is the real deal. And I said that it's somebody um, that you uh, feel safe with, secure, somebody you can rely on. And look, the Ace of Cups, this person has got nothing but unconditional love for you and they know that you've got nothing but unconditional love for them. You know what's really interesting? So far, you've got three Aces coming out. The Ace of Earth, the Ace of Fire and the Ace of Cups. Solid, grounded, passionate and full of love. And I feel that and, and each one of those represents a new beginning. So I feel that this person will take on board what you're going to say. Again, the freedom is yours. For many of you, you may have heard this before. And that's why it's kind of like. If this person is totally blindsided and doesn't get it or doesn't. Doesn't see doesn't understand why you're feeling really disappointed if they have taken you for granted in some shape form or another it's because um you're going to be like well why would it be a mystery for you because we've had this conversation before and look we've got the queen of pentacles in reverse male or female uh this the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles again divine counterparts you may have seen this person as your divine counterpart, your ultimate soulmate. Um, but with that queen of pentacles in reverse, it's almost as if it's like you're not too sure right now. Almost taken away that pentacle because you've got there's something that you want to speak. You're not in your kind of feminine energy, women Aquariuses. Wow. Six of Wands in reverse. You, you're not seeing victory with this person at the moment. Six of Wands in um, right up, um, face up in the correct way is, yeah, face up is um, victory. And I, it feels as if you don't feel victorious with this person at the moment. That's why in this particular card, I'm picking up your energy that you just kind of, turning your head for many of you you may be feeling quite nostalgic over this person almost thinking about you know when the two two of you were a little bit more connected you're it's like you're taking control of that it's like nostalgia is okay you know it has its purpose but if that is what is keeping you with this person that's what i feel that you're being it's like you're being guided to see a higher calling and free yourself from that. Sometimes freedom isn't just about freeing yourself from something that is um, not, well, something that is um, on the surface looks perfect, but actually there are imperfections in there. And it's like, it doesn't mean when you've got to, free yourself it, it how can i put this sometimes you can still free yourself from something that you may be in an illusion that it is really perfect or it is you know your your even though it is your divine counterpart you know it's almost like have you outgrown the connection are you now seeing things that you perhaps didn't see before? Particularly if you need this person at your side right now and they're just kind of there but kind of not there. You're having doubts. And that's why that Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. 
it's almost like you're taking control to speak your truth that you don't feel very victorious you don't feel like um this is solid anymore but you're being guided to be gentle with this person but i i would also say be gentle with yourself let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you clarify, how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in... Wow, thank you. Wow, look at that. The Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Now, both of these cards came out in your pre-shuffle, but the Six of Cups came out in reverse, which actually represents disappointment. And the page of swords is you wanting to come in, speak your truth and clear something up with this person. You see this person and look at this, look at, do you know something? I can't even make this up right now. Do you remember I said to you, your channeled message was that you're feeling disappointed in this person? The six of cups in reverse is disappointment, but it's come up in your main reading as face up. But the six of wands is reversed. You don't see victory. So that tells me that you're disappointed. You've lived many lives with this person, but that's why it's equally disappointing. It's equally why you feel that you need to take control or you're going to be feeling like you need to take, take control. It's like come out of any kind of emotion and um, stand up for yourself. Speak your truth and clear something up i feel that you are watching this person watching to see if they will change of their own accord but i feel that you're still going to go towards this person see how the energy of this bird is going towards this person you're still going to go and clear something up just be gentle But the Six of Cups and the Page of Swords came out in your pre-shuffle. So um, I feel as though, um, yeah, this is definitely somebody that you, oh, look at that hermit. This is definitely somebody that um, you do see as solid and grounded. It's because of this soul connection. But you are really disappointed, really disappointed. And I feel that you want to clear something up, speaking your truth. And with the Hermit card there, I would say that you guys, those that I'm picking up anyway, you've taken some time to really reflect. And you can see this here with the imagery in your crowning wisdom message card. But I feel that you will have victory in terms of uh, you're you're seeing something from a different height seeing something being illuminated with that sun there could be dealing with a virgo or you could have virgo in your chart but you're seeing something from a different light and that's why i feel your spirit team is saying that the freedom is yours and if um you do end up taking a different path um you're not going to be able to explain it it's just kind of it is what it is uh, it just is what it is. There's some things that you just can't. That's only for divine spirit universe to know. But listen to your higher calling. What best serves you? Look at that retreat. That's what I feel that you've been doing. Retreat, spoil yourself in the morning mist, breathe in nature's sweet scents. I feel that's going to help you uh, ground yourself. Approach the situation delicately with a gentle touch. Yeah, uncertainty. The shades of grey within the fog will eventually lift. You're really uncertain what to do. So retreat, except there are some things that are just meant to be a mystery. Ultimately, the choices are yours. The freedom is yours to stay, to go. And that's something I feel that you're being guided to retreat and really think about. And whatever you're uncertain about, it will lift because you have the courage. You have the wisdom within you to deal with what you need to deal with. 
and then idle hours take time out to lie on the emerald grass this um, advice card has come up quite a lot for a number of uh, zodiac signs um aquarius and um i'll reiterate what i've said to everybody else that emerald grass because emerald is green it reminds me of taking some time out for you to retreat and to really listen to your heart um the heart chakra is green okay so it almost feels as if you're being guided to take some time out and kind of sit with your heart if that makes sense bask in your heart listen to what your heart is telling you and even though you may be uncertain whether you stay or whether you go the choice is yours know that you've got to do what is best for you and to deal with the situation with a gentle touch both for yourself and whoever you are connecting with but there is no doubt in my mind that this person has got a lot of love for you and I feel that when you do speak to them this week uh, it is going to kind of shock them a little bit and they're going to feel quite burdened by it and they will talk to you a lot about what they're going to do how they're going to do it how they're going to change they want a new beginning you are the love of their life etc etc but for many of you you may have heard this before the freedom is yours okay i'm going to leave that there for you aquarius if it does resonate please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye